Hello everybody, just want to do a quick review today on the Barrage 1.9 Scaler Kit. So uh, this obviously comes in a ready to run version, but I decided to get the kit version. Just uh, wanted something to build. Price goes for around $179.99. So I started to, uh, this build today and uh, to the point where I think I'm pretty much finished. All I gotta do, what's left to do is to mount the tires and you know to add the LEDs and the electronics that also comes with the kit. So, based on what I see so far, I mean the the quality is not too bad. It's actually better than uh, what I expected. You know, it has all the metals and stuff where it needs to be. It's got the metal links, upper and lower. It's got the metal on the yokes right here as well, where the out drive is. And it's got a uh, actually it's got metal C hubs as you can see right here, but other than that, you know the knuckles are plastic, the rear lockouts are plastic, but uh, you actually get aluminum. I was quite surprised you actually get aluminum oil filled shocks right here. Uh, it comes with preloads so that you can adjust the ride height or whatnot. Um, there's a few things that uh. I was a little disappointed about the kit, but you know, for $180, I can probably live with, live with it. Um, the first thing is that I wish I actually came with sealed bearings, you know, for uh, when you go crawling in the dirt and get into the mud and water and stuff. I would like the bearings to be sealed. But um, another thing is that all the screws are actual Phillips screws, which was a pain in the butt. I really prefer, uh, would have been more happy if it came with. Um, hex screws instead of Phillips but I'm gonna stand it up and let you guys see overall the the, the kit went pretty well it took me about a uh, two hours I mean I wasn't trying to do a fast build or anything but uh, it took me approximately two hours I'm the type of person who likes to double check and triple check everything uh, another thing is that it didn't have any grease for the ring and pinion in the diffs so luckily I had some uh, some grease laying around so I was able to add this you know any type of marine grease works just fine added to the ring and pinion in the diff and it worked out pretty well and um, the last thing I mean it's not a big deal but the wheel hex right here it's really cheap plastic I wish it would have came with metal but that's easily um, swappable so Metal hex, some steel hex would have been nice, or some cast, you know, steel hex would have been nice. But overall, my impression of this build is, uh, ah, man, it looks pretty good actually. You know, I was, I was, I was a little skeptical about buying it, um, but it looks pretty nice. The quality is there. It's, uh, I mean, it's not super quality. After all, it is an ECX, but you know, I'm, I'm not disappointed, and I'm, I'm actually pretty, pretty happy about the build. So, um, yeah, before we uh, conclude this short video, I want to show the body that I'm going to be running for it. You know, uh, it obviously comes with this truck body, but I, I decided to get the sumo body, which is essentially a Suzuki Samurai. So, really, really looking forward to it. Uh, getting this body all scaled out. I'm gonna get some uh, 3d printed Grills to put in the front and some light buckets and whatever other 3d printed parts that's available through RC nerds um, Oh, yeah, before we leave I'm gonna show you the tires that come with it. It comes already pre-mounted, you know all glued and everything What is this glued or be like? It's actually glued But you know most of the parts like the tires, you know, it's already been been put together. The transmission was put together. Um, the shocks was already built for you. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the the lock the the diff was already all built. You know, it's already built locking diffs. So um, other than that, like I said, kit went together very well. So I'm um, I'm actually like, really excited about it. Very happy with the purchase. Alright y'all, thanks for watching.